Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, we will be talking about a topic which is uh, very easily to spot in online businesses. And I've worked with many entrepreneurs before. A lot of them had this problem. I had this problem uh, some time ago. I mean, actually when I started all this online business thing, I had this problem. So what I'm talking about is delaying things because I want them to be perfect. I'll give you an example. So when I first started out in business, <clears throat> I was making this landing page for uh, for my services. Like I was willing to do marketing for other people uh, for cheap, just to make my uh, a name for myself and obviously make some money in this whole process. And I was making this landing page to show off my work, uh, to let them contact me so they can get in touch with me. We can have a phone call. If they qualify, they can work with me. So the whole process, whatever. But I haven't, like, at that specific point, I, I didn't have everything figured out. Like, I was, what do I do after they complete the sign-up information? What do I do after they um, say yes? I mean, I, I had no idea where to start off. I had no idea where to uh, what to begin with uh, when I was coaching them, uh, or I had no idea what to begin when I was going to uh, to run their ads. Like I was okay, I know how to run ads, but I've never done it for someone else. So uh, how can I do it in a professional way? You know, so I didn't have all these things figured out. Not to say the paperwork, uh, the NDAs and stuff like that. I was like unprepared, <clears throat> but and this like unpreparedness kind of made me delay the process of actually creating something, a landing page to sell my services and actually trying to sell my services uh, for so long that I actually gave up because I had no money left to put into that project. I was like, uh, so basically I was doing ads for another marketing info product I was selling and every, every single well, my money went in that product, which didn't fail, but it wasn't an amazing success either. I was kind of breaking even. And if I were to put the effort into building a landing page for running ads for other people, I would have been more successful. But putting all the money in the other info product, I was like left on the edge there. So I did it so much that I eventually had to give up. I had to, uh, to take other clients because other people recommended me, like people who bought the info product. They were like, oh, this guy's great. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, let me try and get a hold of him and probably uh, he can work with me. He can help me out, either build my ads or consult me or something. So that project disappeared. Uh, and it, it still to this day, I never got to create that project and you know where is there like is there one thing that like it's literally inside of your head and bothers you every single second like hey man you didn't try you didn't try that you probably like i don't know make a million dollars in one day or something i have no idea probably or probably i would have gone bankrupt by now either way i never created it and this is because i delayed the process so much because it wasn't perfect and this is a huge mistake since then i learned to create something create a version out there put, put something out there like it, it, even if it's crappy it doesn't really matter it's something and you put it out there and people will uh basically say it and they will say no this is crap i won't buy from you or oh this is the most amazing page ever uh, we invested like ah, i'm not sure but like it was over five thousand dollars of labor and graphics and everything into a landing page and we said oh this is the most perfect landing page ever they're gonna love it and do you know <laughs> basically the raw of that one was like i'm not even sure if this is a thing but i was losing half on that landing page so basically i was investing a thousand dollars and I was making 500 back in return. And this was consistent for a week or so. Uh, and then we pulled this landing page, which was like outdated for like, I don't know, like six months ago. It had a horrible design. Uh, the copy in it was still great because I mean, actually it was kind of like, so the copy was more or less similar to the new one, but design and everything was horrible. It had no VSL, like uh, video sales letter or anything on it. It 
was horrible, I tell you. And it had great success. Like to this day, well, using that landing page with great success and it works like you wouldn't imagine. So it's just because we put there something, uh, as soon as we we saw that there's this, this thing's not working, we said, okay, just scrap it. We'll bring back this landing page, which is old. We'll put a new copywriting we did for this landing page. We'll put it on this one. We know design is old, but we don't have to wait to craft a new thing because if we did, we would have delayed it again and probably it would never got out. And I'll, I'll be honest, it makes us a lot of money right now, that old design. And obviously we've made some small tweaks to it in the meantime, like here and there, but it's nothing major. It's super simple. So my lesson for the day, keep it simple and make sure to put something out there uh, instead of just delaying because it's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect. Keep in mind that and just make sure you don't, you don't care if it's perfect or not. Just put it out there. That's it. So I'll see you in the next video.